We're visiting seven Division One wrestling teams in seven days. Let's ride. What did you do, Tyler? Ah! Oh my God! Three, two, one. Where else can you get a view like this while you listen to Molly Crew Live? Say it again, boys. <laughs> you got him. We got him. We're going to seven Division One wrestling schools in seven days. We're here with legendary coach Waller. JD, will you please tell the people why we're doing this? We are doing this to raise money for the families affected by the devastating wildfires in Maui and get really cool content. And get really cool content. Thanks to Coach Waller here, he let us stay in this bunk space. We got amazing sleep. We didn't have to sleep on wrestling mats last night. We're spoiled. Coach, thanks to you, we get to set aside $300 in our budget that would normally go to travel accommodations for those wrestlers in Maui. So thank you very much. It means a lot. More than welcome. It was my pleasure. Really enjoyed having you guys. We did a lot of laughing. <laughs> which wrestlers do when they get together they laugh a lot because half our life we spent with an intense look on our face getting all fired up to compete so the other half we enjoy it now i had a great time with you guys and it was a lot of fun thank you yeah, coach it helped a little bit that's good it's amazing next up jd where are we going lock haven just down the road about two and a half hours let's go future us popping in real quick to read today's donations jd i have a really fun one right now are you ready wrestling fan challenge made a one dollar donation it says great cause boys but i don't think you're suffering enough cool these wrestling clubs are sports you. I'll donate $5 in each of your names for every real push-up that each of you deliver within 60 seconds on camera. I bet JD can do more than you, Tyler. That's bullshit. Let's go. You're probably right. I'm not very good at push-ups. I will set a 60-second alarm and we'll do as many push-ups as we can and we'll like time lapse it. Are you doing knuckle push-ups? I can't see the timer anymore. <laughs> Bro, this is embarrassing how low, how low you I can do right now. <laughs> Stuck at 54, bro. Ugh. All right, wrestling fan challenge. You were right. JD did more than me. You may be able to eat a hot dog and run faster than me, but you cannot do more push-ups than me. <laughs> well, which one is the stronger athletic feat? Let's be real. 70 plus 54 times 5. That means this person should donate $620. We hold up our end of the deal. Now you must hold up yours. If not, I will find you. All right, first up, Kyle Graham. Spelled recruit wrong. Travis Shirt. Minnesota Gopher Wrestling Fan. Krista Burdett. Baldwin Wallace Wrestling Fan. Son at the Grappling Club in Brooklyn. Made a $100 donation. Sending aloha. Gary Snyder made a hundred dollar donation. It says, thanks for visiting Pitt and Western PA Wrestling. Good work in helping folks in Maui. Mikey Leone made a $250 donation. This one is from the Burrow family. East Coast showing love to the West Coast. Sending love to our Hawaii people. We all rally around your pride. Be quick with that recovery. We know you will. We see you. Thank you to all our donors. Just as a reminder, we're reading every single donation for these last couple days. So donate, donate, donate. Donate, donate, donate. All right, we're throwing it back to our past selves. Bye. Coach, I just watched you put a grill on a dump truck with speed and precision I've never seen. What's the <laughs> <laughs> when I was young, a status symbol was if you made it, you, you drove a Cadillac. So when I got old enough to afford a Cadillac, I bought a John Deere tractor. <laughs> My grandson says, Granddad, do we have a farm? I go, no. He goes, well, why do you have a tractor? I said, I really don't know, son, but I like tractors. <laughs> well, thank you, Coach. We're going to head out. Thank you. you. Take care. So I forgot my sunglasses, left them somewhere in the western part of Pennsylvania or eastern part of West Virginia. Need a new pair. How are we feeling about these, these bad boys? <laughs> I think this is more your speed. The lime green. Oh, yeah. Let's run. I'm pretty sure that's Rob Cole in front of us. Who's to say? We're almost there. You gonna rep those shades? I don't know. These are pretty out there. This campus is pretty. Plus. We got little town cars and stuff. Tyler, nice to meet you. Scott. Thanks for having us. Welcome to the Haven, boys. It's beautiful here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You got the river down here. The regatta's going on this weekend. Yeah, we got the cart out. Take yeah. you guys around. Woo! Looks a little bare right now, but... House noise. All the bleachers pull up. Matt goes right in the middle. Get around 2,500 in here. We start the year every year with the whiteout mat. So we white it out. We do a lot of student participation and bring a big team in. First big whiteout was uh, 17, beat Rutgers. So Scott Goodell was the head coach. He's a Lock Haven grad. And then that was uh, one of Chance's first matches here with the program. Also, Nick Seriano just transferred from Penn State to Rutgers. So yeah, all the Penn State, all the Penn Staters are coming to see him wrestle, and obviously see Goodell and, and Chant. So it was like the perfect storm. Got the win over them. Some some good matches. A lot of good memories. Hell of a lot of good wrestling in this gym. Back in the '80s, they hosted Olympic trials here. So it's really, a lot of history. Oh yeah. Is wrestling the biggest sport of the school? I think so. Last time I checked, yeah. 
<laughs> it's a big sport here, obviously. The town, the area supports wrestling. So that's why you get 1,500, 2,000 people at a wrestling match. Bad Town, USA. You guys getting any workouts? Getting any sweats in? Little sauna workouts right JD, JD got a workout in at Felix's place. Really? Yeah, I got one I got one in, but we've been so busy, we haven't had too much time, really. Uh, was the shower got... warm? The shower was warm, yeah. Uh, it, it's, it's heated. Cool. It's, it's back outside, like, yeah. you're showering outdoors. I spent some time down there. It's like mandatory if you go there, you got to sleep on the air mattress for camp, and you got to shower outside. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Some old school, you got all the national finalists, national champs. Kerry Cola, Kenny Melchior, obviously Gray Simon. This is sweet, Coach. National champ wall down there. Back-to-back -back MAC champions. I'm seeing this hashtag, The Rise. And then nice. I see I see The Rise over here, too. Yep. Is that a saying for Lockhaven, or is that a new thing that you're, you're calling? So we start, yeah, we started that probably five, six years ago. One of our volunteer assistants had sort of come up with it. We were looking for a hashtag for the year, and then we just ran with it. So ever since, we've been really having a lot of success, but it's just the rise in expectation, the rise in, you know, just every day trying to get better. And at one point, Oklahoma tried to steal it. Our fans got mad, and they, <laughs> they stopped using it. So, But it's it's not just the rise in wrestling, just, you know, the rise in everything you do every day. There's been a lot of guys that have overachieved here, and the guys that are just blue-collar, hardworking kids. So we're proud of being a small school, but being an underdog, they come in and get the job done having all Americans, you know, having a ton of guys at the national tournament competing against the big schools, the Big Ten, the Big 12, ACC, and going to and be able to beat those guys at dual meets and individual yeah. matches. So what's really cool about it is in the middle is Gray Simons, who's a three-time oh, NCAA champion, four-time NAIA champion, Olympian. So with the picture, you got all the fans, and then somehow Gray ends up right in the middle. <laughs> where are we at right now? It's Coach Moore's office where the big, <laughs> big dog, dog hangs office. out. Yeah. yeah. Some trophies over here. Yeah. Give Coach Carr some credit and design these. Pretty good job. The old All-American Award somehow made it in there from 2003. I love how there's just like something else on top of it. Is this a golf outing? Yeah, this is a golf outing. <laughs> it's got a golf outting trophy on top of the All-American. I won that <laughs> two years ago. This was at the NCAAs in 2018. Ronnie made his run to the finals. Chance and Ronnie wrestled at the same time. National finalists, two All-Americans. Chance getting on the podium. In the middle of the arena, hugging each other. You see our trainer even as excited. See all the fans standing up applauding Chance. One of the best pictures as far as memories that we have here. I am about to call Coach Mark McKnight of M2 Wrestling, one of the best wrestling clubs in the country at the State College PA. I do think he knows I'm gonna call. Bader was in talks with him. I know Bader gave me his number, so he might be on to us a little bit. We might not be spamming. Please leave your message for Actually, the voicemail. Hey coach, this is JD Raider with Flow Wrestling. Kind of have an odd request for you. I don't know if you've seen what myself and Tyler Meissner have been doing, but we're sleeping in wrestling clubs across the country, and uh, we'll be in your neck of the woods tonight. If you could do us a favor, and lend us your resting room to sleep in. So no call, but uh, we'll find out when he calls us back. All right, boys, it's Friday. Good work all week. Let's make this practice the best one all week. A lot of good scrap. We got a big year ahead of us. All right, big goals. Three Pete Mac Championship, top 10, national champions, all Americans. All right, Mac Champs, all three, one, two, three. Mac Champs! I was editing during practice and JD was behind the camera. How'd I go, JD? Ah, the best footage we got all week. <laughs> Hey, coach, how's it going? So the room's good to go for Tyler and me to uh, crash in tonight and tomorrow night? Yeah, definitely. Awesome, man. This is this is a huge help. You're really helping us out, and you're uh, you know you're helping the families out in uh, Maui who've been affected by the fires as well. Yeah, no problem. I told David the situation. He said, "Cool. There's three couches, and then the mat, and a bunch of crash mats. I mean, you guys will figure it out. Yes. You should be pretty comfortable. Awesome. We got brand new soft resolite mats also. So. Let's go. Beautiful. Thank you, coach, so much. Hey, good luck at who's number one, man. Yeah, thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. Guys we'll be watching. Oh, final room of the trip secured. It's a huge weight off of my shoulders. I'm sure it's a huge weight off of Tyler's shoulders. We really did it. We really did it. We are staying in one place for tonight's because it is our last stop on the trip. We're very close to where we're going tomorrow. And then obviously we got to take off early Sunday. Where are we going tomorrow? Ah! 
to. It's close to M2 Training Center. That's all I'm going to say. So M2 Training Center is David Taylor's club there in State College, Pennsylvania. I have never been to the facility, but from all the pictures and videos I've seen, it looks super nice. They're doing an amazing job. Apparently, David Taylor is like a really good coach as well as wrestler. I was talking to Coach McKnight, who's another coach there who does great work with uh, a lot of guys. They've got like a lot of nationally ranked guys. McKnight's actually not going to be there. He's going to who's number one. So that shows you right there the level that this club is at. Who's number one, by the way? If you're watching this on Saturday, the day this comes out, it's happening tonight. Oh, snap. Yeah. Who's yeah. number one? Watch who's number one. Cool. <laughs> How practice go, coach? Good practice, good intensity. You guys are getting after it. What's the difference between practice now versus later? I think right now they're just trying to find their limits. They're pushing themselves, trying to open their lungs out and see what they need to work on. So once we get into October, be more fine tuning, more skill specific on, on strategies. You gonna take us on the golf cart next? Six seater to the regatta, maybe get some fries, some cheese sticks, maybe there some you lemonade, you know, I don't know. Uber for Tyler? Yes, it is. Well, only a couple days old. We maxed it out. I think we can hit 25 on it now. So we're going to kick up, obviously, Thomas Fieldhouse. Field hockey game going on right here. Who are they playing? Lehigh. The setup right here with the field hockey field is sick. Look at that cliff and all those trees in the background. We were just talking out with the AD today. Get, get a little outdoor duel. Get the season started. Do that celebrities out here or what? Uh, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Especially <laughs> with this golf cart, it could get interesting. <laughs> stop in case the popo is looking. <laughs> I think since we have the video camera, I think we can get away with a little bit more. If you're filming it, you can do whatever you want. Oh yeah. On our way down to the regatta, what the saying is you got a regatta. The river walk, so it leads all the way down to the end. A lot of Victorian homes on Water Street. Beautiful house. Ooh. Residence place there. Sunset there. That's beautiful. So they're putting in a river walk so they can walk across and then this will lead over to all the parks. How's my driving? One eight hundred. Yeah, that's I was drive. pulling in the elementary school the other day and the lady on the back of her little Chevy Cruze had one of us get in a tailgate, at least pull my hair. So <laughs> and, uh, my 11 year old looked and she's like, well, that's not good. I was like, no, well, let's see who gets out of that vehicle. These are cool steps over here. Down to the water. Outdoor amphitheater, I have a floating stage here. You guys ever run those stairs? Oh yeah, okay. all the time. Yeah. How you feeling, JD? This is pretty cool. It's beautiful. Where else can you get a view like this while you listen to Motley Crue live? <laughs> <laughs> you guys hit the regatta a lot? We try to get out once a year. Check got it a regatta. You got a regatta. Tomorrow, the next two days, they'll be racing those little mini boats down here. They'll be flying up, come around. You come out here 4th of July, or usually on like Saturday nights, there's a floating stage right here. And all this is filled with pontoon boats. Really? We're just hanging out. So this is a regatta. What you'll see is this is Gable Strickland's kind of people. So <laughs> we're going to be in good hands. Take that hat off and pop the top and show that mullet off. Yeah. <laughs> mullet. Love it. Get Lock game and wrestling, baby. Let's go. Are we not having a good time tonight? <laughs> Let me hear you up there. Strickland, was that your uncle back what? here? I thought I saw your uncle back there. Probably, I'm related to so many people. Yeah. That's the mayor. Right there. Yeah, hands shaking a lot of hands yeah. out here. He's got a zombie. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> dude, that scared the shit out of me. You about got God, dude. So we get Strickland ripping one down the slide? I think we gotta go down with him. There's three. <laughs> got a race. Yeah, we got yeah, a race. All right, all right. I don't know if I can beat JD at another race on this trip. I don't know if you can doctor the footage again. Is that what you're saying? Is there a height limit? We're doing a special documentary on the regatta. Yep, yep, it's filming. Lock Haven Wrestling. Okay, two, one, go! <laughs> Got it. I was too easy. I didn't cheat. I didn't cheat. JD can't win. He doesn't know how. I think we were, we were hand fighting we each other back and forth the whole time. I did totally cheat, by the way. A cheater and a liar. Something for everybody down here, that's for sure. You're gonna get a hot sauce with that stick? I think you are. Thank you. Cheers. Boom. I'm not eating this on camera. Turn that off. That's fire. I would rate this, um, it's like 6.5 out of 10. Pretty good. I'm going to do a 7. As far as sausages on a stick go, it's pretty good. How's it, Coach? I'm getting through it. <laughs> <laughs> got to get some lemonade now. How many guys want a lemonade? Oh. I give this lemonade an 8 out of 10. That was a regatta. A little bit of something for everybody down there. We're all over the place, man. <laughs> Trying to make it famous one day at a time. Thank you, Coach. That was a lot of fun. Absolutely. We'll give you the full tour of Lock Haven. So, regatta's going on. We got to hit it up. Got a regatta. Say it again, boys. You got, got a regatta. What did you do, Tyler? 
I don't know where it went. It's at the end of the day, I'm trying to get cool drone shots of us riding the golf cart and I'd fly my drone straight into the trees. <laughs> it looks like it's right over here. It shouldn't be too deep, right? It, what, oh, it's definitely on the ground. He's talking about how easy it is to fly this thing. <laughs> it's like an Xbox controller. It's like an Xbox controller. <laughs> <laughs> I just hear a crash. Oh my gosh, I just hear a tree. We got it. Oh, let's go. Let's see around here. I'm guessing pretty high. He almost fell down earlier. <laughs> <laughs> we got it, baby. <laughs> we got it. Hey, shout out to this nice officer over here. Thank, Thank you so you much too, for your help. You got a little twig. <laughs> Flow wrestling. I'm going to be looking for it. M2 Training Center. Check it out. We got American Top Team facility back here. That's Bo Nichols' facility. Coach McKnight hit us with the code we need to get in. So it's just you and me tonight, brother. Of course it's a cat key. You know when it's David Taylor's club. What, does he like cats? David Taylor, big cat guy. I didn't know that about him. Whoa, all our stuff's in here already. How did that happen? <laughs> we might have walked in and forgot to film. Here it is, the M2 Training Center, where the M2 Legends train. Pretty nice club. I right, hit it. Ooh, ooh, he just keeps hitting them. Dude, this is a sweet room. Super Brand new Resolites too, super soft. Check this out. I want to be a world champ. Zack Ryder. Stud, he's number one, pound for pound in the high school rankings. Absolute hammer. I feel like either he was really young, like he was in second grade, or he just wrote that this year. I'm guessing as, he as just a... wrote it this year. <laughs> I want to pretend like he wrote that when he was in second grade. All right, we made it. We're here, M2 Training Center, famous club owned by David Taylor, Olympic champion. Pretty cool that we can be here. This mat is so soft, you were right. <laughs> It's like springy. I genuinely don't know if I want to sleep on this mat or on the couch tonight. It's a good problem to have. JD, this is our sixth night that we've been able to find a club to sleep in. Do you know what that brings our total to now? $1,800. $1,800 plus $75.21 because Cole Matthews bought us Permanti Bros in Pittsburgh. That brings our total to $1,875.21. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Our goal from the beginning of this challenge was for Flow Wrestling content to set aside $2,000 and we're right up against that goal. We just got to find one more night. Actually, wait, we did. We're staying here tonight or we, hit our goal. we yeah we did we're staying here tomorrow night we get we hit our we, we hit our goal without realizing it. We have we won't celebrate it yet. We'll come in here, we'll spend the night, and then we'll count it. But uh, it's looking like we're gonna hit our goal. I, I just realized that. That's pretty cool. I've never been to Lock Haven. Had you been to Lock Haven? I'd never been to Lock Haven. How did you like it? Lock Haven was really cool. I thought Lock Haven was awesome. I think it has a lot of history. It's cool because wrestling at Lock Haven is like the sport. We were walking through the crowd at that street festival, and people were shaking the coach's hand. Like everyone knew the wrestlers. People were pointing at the wrestlers, saying, "Hey, good good luck this year, guys." They kind of feel like celebrities in that town. It's also beautiful. I, you saw the drone shots before. I crashed my drone. Definitely seems like a cool place to go to school, and I'm really glad we made the stop there. I am too. They got after in practice. That was a lot of fun to watch. Coach Moore is the man, so all in all, an excellent day. All right, JD, I think just for fun, you should say out loud where we're going tomorrow, and then I'll bleep it, so they won't get to hear, but we'll get to have fun and hear it. Penn State.